Should be a lot more trouble ahead for Wade and Willis next week. Wade has to testify in that divorce case. He's likely to be grilled about the intimacies of his relationship with Willis. And Georgia state Republicans are now marshalling their forces. They are going to investigate what they call an improper relationship between the two. Newsweek, Fannie Willis's prosecutor meeting White House counsel raises questions. Yeah, a few. Well, that's just lovely. When homeboy wasn't balls deep in this barrel-shaped beauty, he was hanging out at the White House. And why wouldn't he? A state prosecutor from Georgia having a half-day meeting at the White House. No, that doesn't raise any red flags. Nope. So, so please, mainstream media, explain to me why was he there? Was he delivering cocaine? Possibly banging Kamala Harris. I mean, the guy gets around. Who knows what it could be? It's so hard to connect the dots. All I know is the Biden administration says they had nothing to do with any of these cases. And obviously they wouldn't be lying. What in the world was Fonnie Willis thinking? As a question of atmospherics, though, the situation is a disaster, an unexpected gift to Trump that he will exploit not only to discredit the Georgia prosecution, but also to augment his broader claims of being unfairly persecuted. Well, I think it looks like Willis got kickbacks uh, from Nathan Wade. That's effectively the most illegal or most unethical type of conduct that's being investigated here. Uh, obviously, Fonnie Willis uh, uh, appointed Nathan Wade, but the, and then the problem becomes if you appoint someone and then all of a sudden you're getting elaborate trips and all sorts of favors from that individual and the case drags on forever, is that actually a criminal act? Is that something like honest services fraud. So I think uh, Fonnie Willis has to think primarily about her criminal liability here. But then we also get into the issues of prosecutorial misconduct and her own professional ethics uh, under the Georgia State Bar. So now we're looking at possible fraud charges. And all the Muppets in the media will claim, ah, oh, this is just an example of racism. You know, the same exact people who spent the entire summer yelling, no one is above the law. Except the lawyers, apparently. <laughs> oh, God. Nathan Wade, whose website touts his experience in family and domestic law, was found in contempt for failing to turn over records in his own divorce case. Well, that makes him either look very guilty or very bad at being a divorce lawyer, which is his trade. Which leads, of course, to the question of, then why is this dude even prosecuting Donald Trump? If he's a divorce lawyer who doesn't even know what documents to bring to a court case. Well, Fonnie Willis, Fanny Willis, Fonnie Willis, whatever your name may be. <laughs> you wanted the spotlight, sweetheart. You got it. <laughs> I want fame. I want fortune. I want power. Well, hope you enjoy the spotlight, sweetie.